My name is Rupert Hickman. I attended the uh, Lois Train School in 1950, uh, 1950 to 1955. Um, I was uh, the quarterback for the football team. Um, I weighed 135 pounds at that time, but uh, I think I was a pretty good quarterback. Uh, we uh, won 20 two straight football games and uh, we played for the lower state championship in 1956. Uh, that team in 1956, uh, we had uh, John Henry Lewis, Carl uh, 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 Gould, uh, uh, Donnie Franks, and uh, James Powell, James Gore, and uh, John Lewis. Uh, these are some of the players that we, and Ben Moore, these are some of the players that we played with. Um, we, um, the coaches was Benjamin Moss, uh, Tommy DeWitt, and, uh, uh, Witherspoons. And so Witherspoons went on to become the coach of North Carolina, uh, Tar Heels, and, uh, he passed a few years ago. But, um, those years we had a lot of fun. Uh, we didn't have that larger team, but we had a very fast team. And, uh, we got um, suits that year, and we had uh, the blue and white suits like, the, uh, I think it was the, um, the Washington Redskins that year. The, the Redskins come out with the blue and white suits, and so that's the suits we had that year. And um, we uh, uh, played, uh, we, we won all our games, and then we got into the playoffs. We only had about, uh, we only had about, uh, I guess about 30 boys playing. And so uh, we played four games in a, in two weeks. And so we would play a game on Friday. When we got to play off, we'd play a game on Friday. And then we'd play one uh, Wednesday. And then with that next fr that Friday, we played another. And then we played the final game to, for the state, to go up to the state championship. And uh, so um, we had one boy, Robert Lee Jefferson. And so when we went up to Columbia to the game, we played at, uh, at the fairground. And so uh, this Robert Lee went out to, around to the bus telling everybody, he said, uh, you better touch me now because I'm fast. And when I get in the game, you won't be able to see me. I, my number's 43, and so touch me now. When you get in the game, you won't be able, able to see me. So uh, the guy kicked off the ball. And it, he hung it up in the air, and it was just hanging up there. And so that gave all the other team a chance to get down there and get a hit on him. And they knocked him, I mean, they put a hit on him. And so they had to take him off the field, so he didn't get a chance to play that day. <laughs> and so uh, uh, that kind of knocked the starch out of us, because we had been playing, and quite a few of the boys was already injured. And so... Um, that uh, after the game was over and everything, we lost. Uh, I think the score was was um, uh, forty six to six, and so uh, that in our football season. The next year we didn't do it quite as good, but uh, we were running up for the state uh, for the lower state champs the next year. Who do y'all play against? We played uh, well. The one team we played uh, was out our uh, out our league. Uh, was out of our conference, and that was uh, Lumberton. We played Conway, and uh, we beat Conway in 1950, in 1956. Uh, and then we played uh, Mullins, uh, Marion, and uh, Dillon, and then we played Andrews, uh, and so, uh, <coughs> uh, let me see, Ladder, Lakeview, and uh, so we, we had a pretty good team that year. You know, those those tobacco cropping boys was pretty strong during that time, <laughs> and so so they had a lot of fun. Well, you know, we stayed on the farm. My my dad didn't let us come to town too much because uh, he didn't play. He he was very uh, he was very uh, strict on his boys staying on the farm because if anyone messed with his boys, they'd be in trouble. So he wouldn't let us come to town on Saturday and. and and uh, play around, but Loris, uh, uh, Loris was kind of uh, uh, laid back. Yeah. It wasn't 
uh, that much uh, racial tension as I knew of because uh, we had uh, like 200 and some acres of land where we traveled around about during the week and then we, it was a large uh, community, black community which we uh, spent most of our time with. I did have uh, <coughs> a few uh, boys that grew up with me, Don Hardy, who became the, he was uh, the president of the bank and also uh, he was on the Board of Education and we stayed friends until he passed about two years ago. And, uh, but uh, uh, all of the whites would come out to, out to uh, Lowers, over to Lowers Training School to, to see us play football. And uh, because Lowers uh, white boys weren't winning no games during that time, so they'd come over and see us play. And so uh, we always wanted to get a game with them because we had to tower our game and we was wanting to see could they beat us or could we beat them. I think we could beat them. They might have beat us in baseball, but not football mm -hmm. basketball. Yeah. Well, uh, I guess my ambition was to become a lawyer. And uh, I went off to college and uh, when I came, when I got out of college, I was uh, not really planning to teach here. I was planning to go to law school. And so um, my brother was living in Philadelphia, and I usually be there with him in the summer and uh, with my aunt. And so when I finished school, he wrote to Virginia to get me a teaching job. He wrote to North Carolina, South Carolina. And so one day uh, I went to work, came back, and so um, my uh, my. I had a letter from my dad, and he told me that Mr. Nichols had a job teaching school, and uh, that if I wanted to come down, I could get a job. And so uh, when I came home that afternoon, he had bought me a ticket, he had my clothes back, <laughs> and, uh, and, so when, uh, and so he said, when you get paid Friday, I'm gonna put you on the bus and you're going back to teach school. He was only 18 months older than I am, and so, <clears throat> So uh, I came back and I decided, he told me, he said, go down there and teach uh, two year, a year. And if you don't like it, he said, uh, you uh, don't have to do it anymore. So I came down and I had a, t now my first class had 65 students in it. And boy, after lunch, you could really hear them. And one day, Mr. Nichols had me to line all those kids up uh, by the door and spank every one of them. Boy, that hurt me worse than it did this <laughs> year. And so, but after that, we, I would play baseball, basketball, football with with the students, and I learned to like it. And and they were good students. And um, and I just after that year, I was hooked on it. Okay. Yeah.